Good morning, friends, and thanks so much for making time to join me today for this reflection. I'm standing in front of a piece of art that I purchased a number of years ago when I was in Uganda, right on the equator. I think it's called a batik. It's, it's a piece of fabric uh, that's, that's, that's painted and, and stained and then stretched into this uh, frame. I like to tell people that the, the piece of art only cost me a few dollars, but the framing cost me near a hundred dollars, right? Praise God for the capitalism of America. Each time I walk by the painting, I'm not only reminded of the great love that Jesus Christ has for me, that he was willing to die for us in the gift of salvation while we're still sinners. But, but the other thing that I'm reminded of is the woman who made it. You see, it was made at a workshop for women who had escaped uh, domestic violence. And, and this was an opportunity for them to earn money, to learn a trade as, as they began again. And, and so I'm often mindful, not only of the, the suffering of Christ, but the suffering of so many that Christ died for. And as we endure this time of pandemic, it's easy for us to think, okay, well, I'm quarantined at home. And for most of us, it's really not that bad of a situation. But for so many women, so for so many children, their, their time of quarantine is quite difficult because of domestic violence, because of addiction issues, because of tight space and confinement. There's other people who are suffering in other ways, totally unrelated to this virus, people dealing with other health challenges, other health problems. And again, some are very great and, and, and some are small, but suffering is suffering. And, and as Christians, we're called to bring our suffering to the cross. Right? Paul says, let us make up in ourselves that which is lacking in the suffering of Christ. Of course, nothing is lacking in the suffering of Christ. The sacrifice that he made here is perfect in every way. What's lacking is our surrender, our giving over. And, and sometimes when I'm walking past the image here in the hallway of our office, I, I like to imagine that the woman who made this somehow experienced not only a, a path to financial security by doing this piece of art, but, but in, in creating this beautiful piece of art, she united herself more and more to Jesus. The suffering that she experienced, which was very, very real, somehow became offered and transformed and brought healing to her heart. Each and every single one of us are dealing with something. Each and every single one of us have some bit of suffering to bring to Jesus today. Please do that. Think of it now as we come before this beautiful image and, and, and just pray with me, friends. Lord Jesus, I am mindful of, of my own sufferings, my own heartache, my own pain, my own worries. I bring them to you, Jesus. I offer them to you for, for the salvation of myself and the salvation of my family and all those I love. Please, Jesus, accept my suffering. Accept the offering of my loneliness, my isolation, my worry, my fear, my sadness over a loved one who's ill, my confusion over what's going on in the country, my, my heartache of not being able to be with my mom, either because of quarantine or, or because of her past or because of a broken relationship, not being able to see my kids or grandkids because of this time. Lord Jesus, we bring it to you. We offer it to you. We give it to you, knowing that it is for our good and for your glory. Please, Lord, continue to bring an end to this virus. Continue to bring healing to all who are sick. And Lord, help us know that you are doing great things in us as you did that day on that cross. And friends, may our good and gracious God bless you and bring you peace and healing. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. No St. Raymond Live uh, tonight, Friday night. We're going to put that on hold for a while while we're doing the Bible studies on Wednesday. Praise God. Please join us on Sunday for Mass, and we'll be getting the rosary at uh, 945 on Sunday. God bless you. Have an awesome day and bring your suffering to Jesus.